Hey everyone, it's Lauren Toyota from Hot for Food back with part two of our Valentine's Day Spectacular. <laughs> Last week I showed you how to make vegan scallops with spaghetti, crispy kale, and pomegranates. A very tasty dinner for two on Valentine's Day. Date, partner, husband, wife, sitting on the couch by yourself, eating the whole damn thing to yourself, whatever. I'm gonna show you how to make dessert tonight. It's the most important meal of Valentine's Day because it's all about sweets with your sweet or yourself. This is a great dessert for two and I have yet to have this as a vegan. I'm gonna show you how to make vegan creme brulee. It's easy as pie or as creme brulee. We're gonna torch it, we're gonna brulee it, we're gonna light some stuff up, light up some sugar and some cream. But there's no eggs and there's no dairy and it's awesome and you're gonna love it and it's gonna be easy for you to make ahead of time for your Valentine's Day affair. Let's do this. So for this you need a blender, not a fancy one. It will work in a regular blender. We're gonna put everything in it. And you need to start with softer silken tofu. And so when I talk about measuring tofu, sometimes I refer to it as like one cup, three quarters of a cup. And what I do is I crumble the brick and I sort of smush it into a dry measuring cup. So I just have a nylon nut milk bag and I'm just gonna strain the excess water out of this tofu. You don't have to do this really, but it would be preferred if you do. You still want it to be soft and have some moisture, just not all that excess water. So now add it to a blender with sugar. Okay, then you wanna scoop the thick cream from a can of coconut milk and make half a cup of that. You only want this thick stuff, you don't want the water. You need some almond milk or soy milk. We're gonna use cornstarch to thicken this. And we're adding the Vegan's Dream Nutritional Yeast. Add that nooch to everything. Okay, you're gonna do a pinch of salt. You're gonna do like the tiniest amount of turmeric. You don't have to, but it does help it look like the right color that a regular creme brulee does. Okay, and we're gonna use the inside of a vanilla bean. This tastes way better than extract, so I would recommend doing this. You're gonna scrape it and then it's this paste you're gonna add into the blender. So now you're just gonna blend this until it's very smooth. Then pour it in a saucepan and heat it over medium low until it starts to bubble and it just starts to thicken. Then you're gonna take it off the heat. You also have to whisk this constantly so that you don't get any lumps and then it doesn't stick or burn to the pan. As you can see, this is a pretty basic recipe. Creme brulee is just sweet cream that gets burnt with sugar. So there's really nothing complicated about this. We're even using cornstarch to thicken, which I tested out tapioca and some other things and I found cornstarch was just the easiest and best option to get the texture that you want. Tapioca didn't really work and there's other recipes out out there that use agar, which is like a vegan gelatin, but I also figured you probably couldn't find that everywhere. So cornstarch will do just as well. It firms up really nice in the fridge. Okay, once it's firm and thick like this, that's when you wanna remove it from the heat, when it kinda gels up like that. We're gonna pour the creme brulee into ramekins. I'm gonna do two large, but you could also do four small size ones. So let these cool a little bit before you wrap them in plastic and then put them in the fridge and they need to chill completely. So at least six hours, I just do it overnight though. Um, and then I already have ones finished, so they look pretty much the same. They're just a little bit more firm. All right, so you have to do the sugar and the brulee right before you serve. You can't do it the night before. The sugar will just melt and then it will make a liquid kind of gross soup in your creme brulee. So right before you're gonna serve these, you're gonna coat the top in sugar and then you're going to brulee it with a little handy uh, small torch or you can have a culinary commercial kitchen torch, whatever, you need butane. It's not that expensive, it might be worth having around the kitchen for fun little things like this. So you want a nice, thin, even layer of sugar. And then you're gonna torch it. It is very delicious. 
Mmm. Creamy, vanilla y, sugary, brulee y. Mmm. I think you're gonna like this one. Now, I'm not any kind of bruleeing expert, so don't critique me on my bruleeing skills. It's not that even, but it did it. It's got the crunch, the hard caramel uh, sugar layer, and uh, it's pretty darn good for vegan. No, it's just good. It doesn't matter that it's vegan. Mm. So I hope you try this on Valentine's Day with your lover, your friend, your dog or cat. Maybe you're celebrating with your children. Whatever. Try it out. Let me know what you think of the vegan creme brulee. And happy Valentine's Day. The day of love and all those things. I wish you the very best. I wish love in your life and all the happiness. And uh, we're here every Wednesday on Hot For Food uh, with brand new content, brand new videos. Subscribe if you haven't already so that you get those notifications to know that we posted a video. Thumbs up. Share, follow us on social media at Hot For Food. I'm Lauren Toyota. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Enjoy your Valentine's Day dinner. If you make one or both of our suggested dishes, I want to see pictures. Yes, I do. All right. Happy V-Day. Bye.